Today, my dad's teaching me how to make Mapo Tofu. Mapo Tofu. <laughs> then, my whole family is going to grade my cooking. Why? I want to challenge myself to become a better cook because I grew up spoiled by my dad's cooking and I want to be able to do the same for my kids. Okay, everyone write down your grade. Three, two, one. Made this only a couple of times. Let's see how it goes. To start, we'll dice up a piece of green onion. And this is how the master does it. Next, we'll dice up the shallots. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what my dad is saying here is that when you use a cleaver like this one, don't push and pull like I'm doing when you're dicing or chopping vegetables. You want a strong straight up and down motion like this to chop it. This is a more Cantonese style of mapu tofu. Typically, there's a lot more spiciness and numbing. Our family doesn't like spice too much, so we're gonna do a more mild style. We'll smash and peel two cloves of garlic. One hour later. Then we'll mince the garlic. Meanwhile, oh my god, <laughs> <I hold on. laughs> Next, we'll cut the mini sweet pepper in half lengthwise and remove the seeds. We'll first cut into strips. Okay. Okay. Two hours later. No, Then rotate to dice. Notice how my dad curls his fingers when he chops the peppers, while mine are dangerously straight. Do not do what I'm doing. Now we're done with the aromatics. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. Now let's move on to the main ingredient, the tofu. Teresa from Patreon asks, does the tofu need to be pressed? After we rinse the tofu with water, we'll turn our knife horizontally and cut it in half. Then we'll cut it into four sections both ways. Okay. 
嗱呢度又四嚿中間。嗰度係啫，係啊，呢邊又係咁樣啦。嗯 ，good。豆腐咧，中間一倒過去，呢度咧又係中間，呢度又係中間，呢度又中間。嗱，呢度咧又係中間，俾佢點裝住佢啦。Oh no！ 放平咗佢。Kind of bottom. Okay. Okay. 你收開呢邊，係咁得啦。OK， 你裝定啦。係，係咁啦。好啦，呢個包裝包就得啦。I really hope to impress my family with my cooking and master mapo tofu specifically for two reasons. One, I ate this all the time growing up, and I'd love to feed my kids this. And two, mapo tofu was actually the very first recipe we ever published on our channel. That was less than two years ago, and it's pretty crazy to think about how far we've come since then. With the tofu cut, we'll set up our stove and wok to start cooking. Now we are going to cook the mapo tofu. Hi, mapo. Yeah, hi, mapo. I cook the mapo tofu for you. But now it's time to cook it. 燒到上陣間，佢就落中間啦，佢就會唔同咁啊，白色差唔多咁樣落油啦，咁先俾啲肉落去先至唔黐喎。嗯，我切嘢你俾我咩成績啊？切嘢啊，都 OK 啦，八十分啦，係咁啦嚇，係咁切啦嗱，咪咁咯。OK OK， 呢啲咪呢啲咧，有差。After heating the wok on high for about a minute and a half, we'll add oil. 嗱，開始有煙出佢上係咪？中間得噶啦，開開埋火佢，啊落兩個兩個湯匙個油上去，再多啲啊，再多 ，OK 夠啦 ，OK， 不如擺上邊啲油咁上上去，唔該唔好咁大力，攞佢就落呢邊四周啦，裝起啲油咁，你攞過嚟啊嘛，唔好拎上去 ，OK。Notice how my dad spreads the oil evenly in the wok, both left and right, forward and back. After 30 to 40 seconds of heating the oil, we'll add the garlic, shallots, and dried chilies. You put the oil in the oil. Put it 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 in the oil. OK. After the aromatics are fragrant, or 15 to 20 seconds later, we'll add three ounces of minced pork. Yeah, 整散佢，整松佢而家啦，整松佢，即系咁整松佢得啦。得啦，反正咧。Note how my dad constantly moves the pork around and breaks it up into smaller pieces, which is better for this dish. What is the best substitute for pork? 正正经经就系猪肉子麻婆豆腐，不过你用鸡子咪用鸡煮咯，你中意食乜咪俾乜咯，用虾都得噶，豆腐牛肉都有豆腐牛肉咪嘅。The taste is from the sauce, but the ingredients you can adjust. 啲肉嘅味道唔同咯。准备工作有冇咩唔同？都系一样咁炒好晒啲嘢，先俾啲水落去搅晒味道，豆腐落去揀住佢。How would you make this completely vegetarian? Just not add the pork. 唔俾肉咯，冬菇啊，某嗰啲系冬菇嗰啲咯，做菜嗰啲材料咪得咯，最一定要 mushroom 煮啲好食。After stir frying the pork for about a minute, we'll add an essential sauce for flavor. Okay， 好啦，好睇，好睇，好睇。我用 tablespoon of ground bean sauce， 多俾少少，多俾少少。Okay， 捞完佢。Mapo tofu has a somewhat unfortunate origin story. Also known as Mapo tofu in Cantonese, it originated from the Sichuan province of China just 150 years ago. The dish is named after the woman who created it, with the word ma meaning pockmarked, a reference to the smallpox scars that covered her face. Pa means wife or old woman, and the family restaurant was eventually named after her and still exists today. There are a few differences between my dad's recipe and a more traditional Sichuan version, which features chili bean sauce, or la dao ban zheng, which is often called the soul of Sichuan cuisine, and includes fermented beans and chili peppers. It also often includes the signature Sichuan peppercorns, which create a spicy, numbing sensation in your mouth. My dad's mapo tofu is more of a Cantonese homestyle version and instead uses ground bean sauce, or min si zheng, another fermented bean sauce which serves the same purpose as chili bean sauce but is not spicy. Instead, we're adding dried chilies and some chili sauce to add just a bit of spiciness to our liking. 
After adding the bean sauce, we'll add water. We'll let the sauce simmer on low as we add the seasoning. We'll add about a half teaspoon of chili sauce here, but you can adjust according to your taste. We're using Guilin style chili sauce here. Some people ask, how do you get a really bright red color? Uh, I have a kind of red color. I have a kind of red color. I have a kind of red color. I have a kind of red I have a kind of red color. 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 I have a kind of red yeah. Ah. Okay. I want to break it. You don't want to break it. You don't want to break it. You don't want to break it. I'm breaking already. Hey, 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 how do you prevent breaking the tofu? After adding the tofu and mixing it into the sauce, we'll cover the wok. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. While the tofu simmers, we'll create a cornstarch slurry with one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. Then we'll mix so that the cornstarch is dissolved into the water. We'll uncover the wok after one and a half to two minutes of simmering. We added another half tablespoon of dark soy sauce here to get the color we wanted. Then it's time to add the slurry. With our slurry, you don't have to use all of it like I do here, but just enough to reach your desired consistency. Then we'll mix in the slurry and let it thicken the sauce. Seems yummy. Yeah. <coughs> After letting the sauce thicken and simmer on low for another two minutes, we'll add our final garnishes. After adding some of our green onions, we'll add the sweet peppers. Finally, we'll mix in our sesame oil. Now, we could turn off the heat and plate, but if your consistency is not exactly as you like it, My dad added a tablespoon of water to his because he thought it was too thick. Then he did it back up before serving. Okay, got it. Now we can plate and garnish with the rest of our green onions and let my family grade my cooking. Taste daddy's first, huh? That's spicy this time. Daddy's a little more spicy. Can we, should we taste yours now? Uh -huh. Red is more mild. I like the red is mild, spicy. 
But that's subjective. Some people like spicy, some people don't. I like Dad's gravy better. Your gravy is kind of too thick. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. You did a good job, Brandon. You did a good job. I'm proud. Good job. Mapo Taofu, the Jiao Jola. Him on the Go Jong Yi. Hung Dai. Help our full up. Cheers! Moi Moi's first cheers! Moi Moi's first cheers. cheers! And second time the video. Say hi everybody! Hello! Hi! hi. hi Thank hi, you for hi. watching our daddy's video. Hi! Hi! hi. I love yeah. the bit too, but I can't eat yet. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right.